Open the pod bay doors, honey. Outer space. Man, it's big. There's a lot of it. And a lot in it. You know, most of what we've learned about outer space, we've learned the same way that people have been learning about it for centuries. By looking up in the sky and going, whoa. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> hey, take a look. Careful of your eye, you goofball. Those kids. Man, it's big, isn't it? Hey, hey, what's that? Whoa. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up, up, up. Oh, hi, I, I was just, uh... uh huh. Well, anyway, outer space is so big, and everything in it is so far away. Do you know how we know? Well, well, we'll just look. By looking at the stars, we've learned about outer space. And do you know what else? Everything out there is made of the same stuff that we are. Isn't that wild? So, come with me today while we explore the vast, wonderful world of outer space. Outer space is big, but we have to go out, way out. Outer, outer space, way out here. Whoa. Things in space are very far apart. What do you mean? I mean very far apart. Uh-huh. Let's say that this little ball is the Earth. All right. Yeah, yeah, this little ball. And you and I are right here at Nye Laboratories. Mm -hmm. How far away do you think the sun would be? Would it be this far away? This far away? I don't know. Maybe uh, this far away? Maybe. Yeah. No. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Would be this far away. Whoa. 20 meters. That's right. If the Earth were this big, the sun would be this big, and they'd be that far apart. Now, what about the planets and other stars and galaxies? I don't know. Well, they're really far apart. I mean, they're way out there. Our Earth is big, and so is our solar system, sure. But look at the sky at night. Some of those points of light aren't stars. No, they're groups of billions of stars. But they look like a single point of light because they're so far away. Whoa. 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 How long do you think it would take me to get from here to where you are? Well, let's see. Here I come. <laughs> took about a second, right? But how long do you think it would take the fastest thing in the universe to get from here down there? How long? Well, a lot less than a second, I'll tell you. Here's the fastest thing in the universe. It's light. Light goes 300,000 kilometers every second. Not 300,000 kilometers an hour, not 300,000 kilometers a minute, but 300,000 kilometers a second. The things in the universe, things like stars and galaxies, the things in the universe are so far apart that it can take even the fastest thing there is, it can take even light, millions and billions of years to get from one place to another, even at the speed of light, which is pretty fast. So what you're saying, Bill, is the closest star to our sun is 4.3 light years away? That's right. Now, a light year is the distance that light travels in a year. 
Now, light goes pretty fast, and a year is a long time. So a light year is really far. Nine and a half trillion kilometers. Wow. So that means some of the stars we can see right now may not even exist anymore? That's right, that's right. Maybe a star is burned out and collapsed. Okay, well then it stops giving off light. Well, the light keeps coming here for years. So uh, in a way, the star doesn't burn out and collapse here until the light stops coming here. <laughs> Did you know that? The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is actually a hurricane larger than the Earth. <laughs> 